Hey dudes, hey boys and girls, welcome back. Sorry, it's been a long time since I made a movie or a new video. Um, yeah, but I guess right now it doesn't really matter because I only got like 40 subscribers <laughs> anyways. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to make this content kind of interesting. I'm trying to put the, the right hashtags in place, but maybe my videos are too long and the audio is just off. Anyways, um, I had to move to a different city. Last time I made a video, I was uh, still in my old apartment. And uh, yeah, but now we moved to a totally different place because um, of a new job. I s actually worked out pretty good. Um, I was kind of struggling a lot with what kind of movie content I would make next because um, I felt bad that I hadn't um, talked about more things because <laughs> there's so many things um, God has... Uh, shown me in my life and I, I don't know like which ones I what would become an interesting video um and what why would anybody care so much when he's done cool things in my life but you know maybe it's I don't know sometimes I don't feel like I deserve it much um and then there's other people out there. I mean, why would they? Why would you guys care so much what happened specifically pertaining, uh, uh, specifically with things that happened to me? Um, so yeah, but then there's like this Dana Car uh, Coverstone. Coverstone is it Cornerstone or Coverstone? I always get his name messed up. That's all you know. Now, now we're two thirds into the way into the month of September. So it's super interesting to see what's going to happen. Obviously a lot of the, um, people that have gotten specific signs about September, 2020, they say that it was sort of all concentrates at the end of September. So now we're kind of phasing into that. So let's see what's up, you know, let's see what happens. Um, uh, there's some scripture that says like, you know, pay attention to the people that claim to have signs and messages, but if what they say does not happen, then, you know, don't give them too much attention. So, so this will be interesting. Um, yeah, <clears throat> but there's one thing that I could kind of like mention and, uh, and, um, I guess it's kind of like a sign that uh, God already saw into my future, or even me moving to this new city was all pre, pre preordained. Like He already had that planned out, and one way that He wanted me wanted to show this to me because right before I left my other city, you know, I just bumped into uh, a new church group down there, and it was the first time I went to church in like twenty years, and uh, it was all really cool. Like I'm gonna make some videos about what happened there. I'll talk about it in some upcoming videos because it's a clear sign that the supernatural dimension of God's work is is totally real. Um, it's um, and you'll see from the videos that I, I talk about because when yeah, just more coming up, you know. Um, <clears throat> And then I kind of got a little weighted feeling in my in my in my heart because I was wondering, is it really a good thing that I'm moving to a different city to get a new job? Obviously, the COVID nineteen situation sort of ruined my chances back in the old city. Um, but it's also the city where my parents live, and they're really old and got all kinds of health problems. So I felt pretty bad that I left them, you know. Now I got to drive like nine and a half hours to get to my parents' place again to help my dad change his tires to like winter tires and stuff. So, but you know, whatever. Um, well, I mean, like, you know, maybe God's got it all under control because, you know, but um, yeah, we moved out here. Super nice place. It's <laughs> it's like one of the country's like hotspots if you're into like um extreme sports like downhill mountain biking or snowboarding skiing uh, all that backcountry backcountry lifestyle is all happening here big time powder place mountains rivers uh, all kinds of stuff lots of hunting lots of fishing uh, anyway so the my new colleagues at work they're super cool maybe one of the better places I've ever been uh, God's always blessed me with great places to work with great people all around me 
they, this was really cool. <laughs> really good chemistry with the guys I work with, guys and girls, and yeah. But I could say that, um, again, I was sort of like coming to God and wondering, like, is it really right for me to leave? I just met these dope people at the church. I just bumped into this uh, youth, like, um, um, it's like a youth-oriented, like, missionary group that goes around and sort of reaches out to kids and stuff all around the world. I think it's called, like, uh, Youth with a Mission or something like that. And um, long story short, I met some really cool people. And, um, and for the little bit that I was experiencing with, like, the, the Holy Spirit interacting, it was really insane. Um and um yeah and again i'm going to make a video about that um and the other thing is like so god i guess was knowing that that this was weighing in my heart and um and um <clears throat> but it all kind of tied back to again a sequence of visions spontaneous visions that i had back in January, February, February of this year. And, um, I just, I drew them in my, in my, uh, journal, uh, uh, back then because something inside me as I was writing in my journal popped in and said, draw this, draw what you saw, you know? And if you've seen one of my previous videos about the first time going back to church in 20 years, you'll see one thing verified there. That was another one of those visual cues. Um, something that linked back to what I saw in January, February, and something that God showed me that in the church mural the first time I went back to church in 20 years. Um, so there was another one like that, and it was basically like, it was almost as if I'm flying through this 3D space, and uh, there's like all these like uh, layers or something. I I'll show you a little sketch uh, what I saw. And then the cool thing is, and, and that was of course like in one of those moments when I was like, conversing with God and um, and what was cool is that when I just when I moved back here to this new place I finally after like a week got the uh, TV packed out because we needed a TV bench this place wasn't really furnished and stuff so we run around you know the local version of Craigslist trying to find used uh, furniture and then that same uh, couple nights later I got my old you know flat screen TV all hooked up and we're watching Netflix right and there's this new TV show or show on Netflix called uh, I forget what it was called but I'll write a description the name on the description it's about like video games it's about competitive video games playing from like way back like Atari and all them days like the first Nintendo games and stuff but in the intro if you guys got Netflix check it out you know if you like documentaries or whatever if you like retro game stuff there's this uh, scene where um, there's this old game. I don't even know what it was, but it looks like one of those like future racing games from like the 80s, hovercraft flying or whatever. And there's like this. Um, it's exactly what I saw in my vision, in other words, which is nuts, right? Like God saying, "Yo, I got this. When you move over there, I'll give you a little like wink. It's all part of the plan. It's all gonna be all right, you know." And so far, I feel pretty blessed. Like, things have gone really well. Like, the stuff, of, you know, luckily with a new job, um, could be a lot worse. I mean, I'm, I'm only sort of skimming through the surface stuff right now, but, yeah. Um, sorry if this was a boring video. Um, God just put it in my heart to talk about it and make a video about it. I don't know what it's for because I only get, like, ten views a video. So, but he really kind of makes it. He puts it in my heart to go and make one, and I don't want to put things off, and I don't want to, like, you know, ignore his call. Maybe there's a plan for all these things. I don't know. All right, guys. Um, if you liked the video, <laughs> like, hit the like button. Uh, subs uh, consider subscribing. I think it helps out a lot with, like, you know, the Google algorithms, like, throwing out these videos. Um, maybe it'll help for some people out there. I don't, I don't know. Um... Maybe I got to talk more about what was really happening in this uh, challenging time so that people know what's up. I, I, I don't know. Maybe that's how people find inspiration in these things or find something useful to them. I don't know. 
Um, anyways, uh, I'll make another video shortly about uh, what I this crazy, I guess the Holy Spirit interaction or something like that, and it's it's nuts, it's insane. Okay, guys, I'll um, hit the like, please, and subscribe once again. Sorry for bugging you about that. All right, cool. Next time.